Hey guys, James with Esprit Tech, Jetty USA. Short video today on something I love to use and that's logical switches. Logical switches give you the ability to go a little crazy with your mixing and really dial an airplane in, dial the co controls and commands in to exactly the way you want them. Um, I use them in some of my helicopter setups with my bailout and rescue. Um, I've used them in aircraft. They're really great for you guys that are scale pilots and are using a lot of our Jetty telemetry. Uh, and as we get into this, I'll explain to you a little bit more why. You can find logical switches in the menu under Advanced Properties. So you'll click on Menu, you'll click Advanced Properties, and you'll scroll down to Logical Switches, which I've already done here. We're going to go ahead and click the button to enter into the menu. Uh, all you will see is a big list of L numbers, and those are logical, Logic 1 through etc. What you want to do to build a logic switch is you'll click on the first available L number. For us, that's L1 because this is a blank slate model. Once you click on that, it will ask you to name it and to enable it. So we're going to go ahead and click on the line. That enables us to scroll between the label and enable boxes. Uh, under label, we're just going to label this one bad just for fun. Once you've done, you can press the OK key uh, for in that screen. Go to enabled. Click on Enabled and it will change from an X to a check mark. That turns that mix on. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, once you've done that, click the Escape key one time. It'll allow you to scroll down to your next line. Uh, this is where it gets fun. Um, a logic switch is built of basically two controls and a condition, that condition being AND, OR, and so on. Um, this is really great for situations where you need two switches to activate a single function or you want to have two switches to activate a single function. If you have a safety uh, concern, let's say you want to put it on an engine startup, you can actually have two switches required to be in specific positions before it enables you to go on to that next step. Um, one of the great things with this is situations where you have a three position switch and you need to make that more than a three position switch or you want to have five flight modes out of two switches that are only two position switches there's ways to do that we'll go ahead and build a simple one for you just to give you an idea i'm going to go ahead and because we're on the control condition line uh, if i click the center button in our in our 3d wheel it allows me to scroll between the three i'm going to go ahead and click on control number one uh, this is our standard select input control this is where you move the stick switch or gimbal and it enters that value or enters that sticker switch in as the one you want to use. So we're going to go ahead and choose uh, switch SC on the radio. Uh, our on position is indicated by a check mark. Our off position is indicated by an X. Once you have the one, the, the control you want, you're going to hit function button 5 for OK. It'll take you back out again. Then you can scroll right to condition. In this situation we're going to go ahead and use and as our conditional this will require both controls be in the correct position uh, before we get a positive signal so we'll choose and for our condition once you have the one you want click the function button it allows you to move again go into control number two and i'm going to go ahead and assign a, another switch uh, as our control for control two and i've chosen the sb switch uh, which is a three position switch. I don't like the position that that check mark is in. So what I can do is I can hit clear, which is function four below the screen, and I can move it into the position I want. Uh, so now the fully forward position is indicated by a check mark. Both of the other two positions are indicated by an X. Once we're happy with that, we click our OK key again. That takes us back out. So to give you an idea, with, with SB in the correct position and SC in the wrong position, we're sending a negative signal or an off signal as a switch. If I move my SC switch into the correct position, you'll see that I have three check marks or a positive result. What we do with that is that we can assign that to any function in the aircraft. Uh, this is assignable just like any other switch gimbal or stick on the radio. Uh, so we'll jump out of here and give you an idea how that works by clicking OK to go back to the logical switches menu. Click OK again, it'll take you back to the advanced properties menu. Click Escape and we're in our main menu. We're going to jump into Model. We're going to jump into Function Assignment. And now we're going to go down to our Air Brake, which is in this model. I'm going to click on the line so that I can move the cursor. 
I'm going to move to our control. I'm going to hit the function button to get into the select input control screen. I'm going to clear out the function that we had, which is P8. It was uh, on one of our knobs. What you want to do to get to the logical switches is hit function button 1, L-O-G, on the screen. We only have a single logical function to choose from. Uh, if there were multiples, you can turn the scroll wheel and choose the one you're trying to, to use for that function. But I'm going to go ahead and click on number 1. It puts that function in. Um, we, we don't want this to be a proportional control in our situation. You'll notice right now that it's set up as a center self-centering or a full centering proportional control. We want to click proportional. We want this to be an on-off switch only. So once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now, in our air brakes, you can see right now our air brakes are on. That's indicated by a check mark in the air brake line. Uh, if I move either of my two pre-selected switches into the wrong position, I, my air brakes will not function. Um, you don't have to use switches in a logical function. Uh, if I had chosen, I could have made this switch um, on my throttle stick as well as a secondary switch. Uh, give you an idea how you would do that. You set your throttle stick up uh, at a specific or specified position. Uh, and I can show you how to do that real quick because that's going to help out a lot of you guys. Let me click that off and then we'll jump back out. Sorry about that. We had the auto trim set up on the same stick as our switch there. So we'll go ahead and jump back into the menu, Advanced Properties and Logical Switches. Go into the switch that we just created. I'm going to re remove the SC switch from our mix by selecting Control 1, going into the Select Input Control screen. I'm going to clear that out and I am going to move my throttle stick. I do want it to be a proportional control, so I'm going to select proportional and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, you have to go a step further if you use one of your gimbals or one of your, your proportional control devices on the radio in a logical switch. It, it requires you to do one extra line. We'll go ahead and escape so that we can move to that line and here you'll see X less than a certain percentage. If you click on that so you can adjust it, the, the wheel will scroll between X less than, X greater than, or linear. Uh, we don't want a linear control. We want to use an X less than control. W once you click out of that, it allows you to move. You can adjust the percentage. So I want to do X less than negative 75%. It's about 15% on the, uh, the, the gimbal itself. Let's do 70. And now what you'll see is currently I've got full throttle on, on the stick and the SD switch in the correct position. You'll see X at the bottom of the screen. That indicates we're, show, we're throwing a negative single. Now, if I pull my throttle stick down, you'll see now we'll be able to turn on those air brakes. So what this means is my air brakes will not function unless my throttle's below 15% and I have the SB switch pulled. If you have any questions on this, it can, it can get a little confusing. Practice this. Build a few logical switches. Assign them to something simple so you can see how they work. If you're still stuck, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Esprit Model or Jet USA. And this has been James. Thank you much.